everybody, today I'm here to react to episode 5 of School Spirits and after the last episode we have our suspicions narrowed on a potential new suspect and that is Claire. Now Claire I've never really loved, I'm gonna be honest, because she was cheating <laughs> with Maddie's boyfriend and apparently is also like her former best friend. So just all around doesn't seem great but I really did not have her as invested in this Mr. Anderson stuff as much as it seems like she potentially is but there's definitely something shady up about Claire. I feel like she definitely puts on this persona especially the way she was interacting with Nicole in the previous episodes about how she was like oh like I really want Maddie to be found and like I'm so sad and like crying but like Nicole said like what had she actually done to try and like help find her or anything or like actually talk about Maddie when it wasn't benefiting her and her campaign for homecoming queen. So I'm excited to see more about what this could potentially lead to and also how much Xavier knows because I feel like if Xavier knew like all of the stuff that was happening potentially about like he picked he picked the worst girl to cheat on his girlfriend with right like not that there's ever like a great person to cheat on your girlfriend with but like someone who potentially might have murdered her definitely not the one you want to be caught cheating with you know what I mean so yeah I'm excited to see what's gonna happen and let's check it out I feel like sometimes he says stuff and like it makes me more suspicious of him you know what I mean like it's still I'm not fully over my Simon theory yet especially because we have not gone to Simon as a suspect yet I feel like again my previous like what I read before with the Lion game is coloring that because that's who it turned out to be in that series but I also just feel like there's sometimes where he says stuff that I'm like this sounds like kind of creepy dude <laughs> like that you're like hinting at something that happened and maybe he did it and he doesn't even remember you know maybe it was like a blackout thing oh my gosh is he still with her mother like it's starting to get weird now like I get that you're just trying to like alleviate your guilt or whatever but like it's creepy dude <laughs> like she didn't introduce you to her mom before and now you're just like making her a part of your life it's creepy I noticed this last time too with the Nicole stuff but I don't know if it's just maybe him being like more pessimistic or him like kind of understanding her in a way Simon does too about how she wouldn't just run away and leave everyone but Xavier never seems to think she's coming back right like he never seems to think they're gonna find her like I don't know if it's just he thinks like oh if she ran away like she's gonna make sure you never find her or if he like is like no she wouldn't have run away like something bad must have happened to her but like he just never looks hopeful you know he always just kind of looks like yeah I'm um, like humoring you because you think she's coming back but I don't and it's just that makes me suspicious of him still I love that they're able it confused me for the longest time but I do love that they're just able to go through like everyone's stuff and somehow it just resets for the person and they don't even notice like it makes no sense logically illogically like, absolutely no sense but I still love it I love that they lean into like the like it's convenient for our plot and we're gonna say it makes sense and I'm just like I respect the heck out of that okay oh they're painting together listen I still can't tell if they're actually gonna be a ship or not but like I'm full on board shipping them as of now so Oh, that's really sweet actually. I can't imagine how old his family would be now because didn't he die in like the 50s or something? Okay, I forgot to mention it. I think in the second episode I think was when I noticed it, but Maddie woke up with like a sweatshirt on her, like a black sweatshirt that she, I don't think she had been wearing the day before. I could be wrong, but I noticed that because that was the sweatshirt. It looked like I mean, it was a black sweatshirt, so I guess technically you could also say maybe it's Xavier's or I think Simon wears a black sweatshirt too, but they made a specific point to put out that like oh that black sweatshirt was like on the seat in the classroom and the teacher was like oh that's my sweatshirt and I'm keeping it until Maddie comes back like that seat's for her and it's just made me suspicious of that teacher ever since then just like in a way that I'm like where did this black sweatshirt come from that I'm again 99% sure she wasn't wearing when she disappeared but then woke up like right after she had died was wearing it so I'm like where did this sweatshirt come from did someone put it on her like as she was dying to like cover it up and then went back for it anyway but yeah that's why I have like a tiny suspicion about the teacher just because of that I feel like I'm looking at everything as a clue potentially you know her paper on the scarlet letter what she wrote one thing about one book I thought maybe she was like plagiarizing Maddie's uh, essays or something like that and that's why Mr. A was always like oh your essays are so good Maddie
she wants to pretend she's still alive so her mom is better i mean she's got to find out one way or another like that's not fair to just i mean on the hope that it's gonna keep like that's no no that's not fair at all her mom deserves the definitive answer <laughs> well i mean that's fair <laughs> i just love that every time he comes up with a suspect like she's always like it can't be them it's like maddie you're dead let's start thinking that like yeah maybe anyone the local like mascot might have like she's just so still optimistic about people i'm like they might have killed you. If you put all this on hold, though, that gives whoever did this more time to cover up what they did. And, like, then your mom's not getting justice. Because no matter what, she's not getting Maddie back. Like, that's never happening. Oh, my gosh. She is, like, determined. Like, it's creepy. It's like how she showed up to Xavier's house. Now she shows up to his house. Like, she really does not take, um, a hint. Wait, I kind of like that. I'm not a fan of him, but, like, Claire is, like, way up on her high horse right now, and someone needs to take her down a peg of, like, you're not untouchable, and I kind of love that. Also, I have been suspicious about Mr. A from the moment I saw him. I will remind you of that, but I just don't know. I feel like it's all more complicated, right? I feel like it's a lot like what I said before of how it's, like, a lot of, like, everyone's little secrets made up of this perfect storm of, like, maybe people were being paid off to look the other way, and then because of that, something happened, and it's, like, you know... Obviously, the person who killed her is the most responsible for it, but maybe these, like, other people like Xavier not being there for her and taking her phone, Claire doing all this, Mr. A, like, being in cahoots with Claire or something, like, all kind of led to a perfect situation where something like that could happen. So no one's, like, truly innocent, even if someone is more guilty. Oh, I love how much, like, he, like, cares to talk to her. It's really, really sweet. Like, I just, I love them so, I love Wally, but I just love, like, their whole opposite vibes. He totally wants to score a touchdown for her. It's just so cute. Stop it. Oh, there's someone there. Oh, gosh, Xavier. Oh, my gosh. Okay, sir. You could have gone after them. You didn't even attempt to go out the window. Like, that's why I'm like, how badly is he really trying? And could this be that, like, he's trying to cover up of, like, wait, who has her backpack? I lost her backpack when I... You know what I mean? Like, I just don't trust any of it. I don't trust him that like he's like I feel like he doesn't actually want Maddie to come back and I feel like he also doesn't seem to think she's still alive out there somewhere but maybe that's just like again his pessimistic kind of view. <laughs> See what I mean about opposite? She's like yep fun to be at a football game. <gasps> oh look she's wearing that outfit but it's also a black hoodie. That's interesting. I don't know if she had time to go see Mr. Anderson and they get there. I don't know how far apart those places were, but they're definitely setting up so it looks like she was dressed like whoever jumped out that window, which means she saw Xavier there though, right? Like whoever was there knew that that was Xavier looking for them. I love that every question he has, she's like, I don't know. I mean, you can say, you can say Rhonda's trying her hardest, but she's not going to tattle. That's why I just don't want her to, like, get in between. Because I kind of feel like as much as he's like, oh, like, they're not focusing on, like, the future and moving forward. Like, I think that's what would help them to move forward and be able to move on is if they reconcile these issues they have with their past. So, like, if Charlie does write this letter to the teacher and stuff like that, maybe it will help him move on, you know, and move forward. Oh, that's kind of sweet, actually. I'm honestly surprised she's not older. I kind of thought Wally's family would be dead. Because he died in the 50s, right? So, like, they would have already been, like, 20. And then we're adding, like, oh, I guess, yeah, they'd be, like, 70. They'd be old. Old, okay. Okay, this girl is losing it. And I don't know what kind of secret she's hiding, but, like, she's losing it. Yeah, I don't think the cops are there for you, Claire, if one's eating a slushy, I think they, they kind of save that for um, non-official business. <sighs> like this. Why does this feel like a date? I just, it's so cute the way they look at each other and laugh. Like, I just, my hopes are so high that they end up together. It's just so cute. <laughs> like, I just, I feel like he just makes her feel so, like, not stressed about everything, and it's so cute. 
wow, he died playing a game he doesn't even love because his mom pushed him to and he's not mad at her. Like that's, he's a lot nicer than I think most people would be. Like there's no resentment towards her for that. Guys, where is the fanfic about them, okay? I have been demanding it nicely because I know it's not easy to ask people to write fanfics, but like I need more Wally and Maddie in my life. But she's not gonna stay sober. I mean, yeah, that's very nice of you actually. Like son of the century, honestly, right there. But, like, that's not, it, it's false hope, you know? Yeah. Yes, and I'm glad he's the one that said it because it's like, I feel like Simon should have said that earlier of like, you're not coming back. Like, you're just giving her false hope. And sometimes it's better to have closure no matter how hard it is than false hope. What the? What? Who said this to the three of them? That's so strange. Okay, so she's either paying him or blackmailing him to get straight A's, which is kind of what Simon assumed. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. And also who took it? Very strange that it went to the three of them because I know like they're probably the closest to Maddie, but like send that to the cops if you really want to take Claire down, unless Mr. Anderson, but Mr. Anderson was in the video. So who else would have filmed it? I don't know. I don't know who else. Maybe one of the cheerleaders? Aw, Wally. Like, see, as much as I feel like this is gonna, like, upset the teacher because it's like, oh, they're, like, changing their traditions, I feel like this is the kind of stuff they need to start doing if they do want to move on. And believe me, I would miss Wally so freaking much if he moved on, but I feel like this is what they need to do is, like, make peace with the past. Look at Wally. It's, like, so respectful of, like, I don't really like this game, but I like being with you, Mom, and I'm gonna be here, like, respectfully but not like faking it you know and that's just so nice that Maddie was able to help him come to that realization yeah exactly like she needs answers she can't just be passing flowers at the flowers <laughs> she can't be <laughs> she can't be passing posters out I was trying to say posters and flyers at the same time and it came out as flowers so cute I love it come on guys this is like romance books level I'm like oh come on as for of course of course right no pressure no pressure like that's why we love him that's so cute play cool Wally. play cool okay okay don't get too uh too excited little hop I I really hope she like is falling for him because I just think they're so funny and like so opposites attract but like so good for each other and they do have stuff that they have in common and connect with even if it's not like word for word the same like they've both got the parent issue they both have like lingering questions and stuff like that like it's just ah okay so she's definitely hiding something that she didn't want anyone to see in the trunk but like just throw the flyers in the back seat then like you didn't have to go in your trunk Nicole is the one someone pointed out in one of the comments on my reaction last time the only one that we haven't really seen any like suspiciousness from so like it would be really cool if she has a secret too because then it's like everyone has something to hide oh yeah wait who because none of the unless it's one of the ghosts that doesn't really show them to talk to you know I hope they don't find like a body down here If she, like, that's a good question of, like, where is her body exactly? Because it's, like, I think you have to die at the school for, like, you to be a ghost at the school. But, like, her body could totally be somewhere else. And I don't know where they would be having it right now. Because you would think the woods, but they looked through the woods pretty easily. So that's a very good question. I liked this episode. I think it felt different than the previous episodes because it felt less like gasp worthy moments aside from like the video obviously in the end but it had a real like emotional heaviness to it. I think like the stuff with her mom and her having to understand that like 
she can't just make it go away to make her mom better. Like, you can't protect your mom from the truth. And, like, she deserves to know what the truth is. And Maddie does as well. And I think that's kind of a big lesson on her part is she tried to protect her mom from so much when, like, she's the kid and her mom is the parent. And, like, she was going to go to the point of not wanting to find out what actually happened to her just to protect her mom. And I'm glad she had that realization that, like, she has to do this not only for her mom, but for herself as well. Like, just put herself first for once. And I think all the stuff with Wally and her connecting was really nice and how she was able to help him. Yeah, I just feel like there was, like, an emotional heftiness to this episode that I think was just as impactful as, like, those, like, shocking, gasp-worthy moments. And I really liked it. I like that they can kind of pull off both sides of that coin and make it equally as entertaining and interesting. I'm excited to see um, what you guys thought of the episode. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments and who your latest suspect is after the reveals we got in this episode. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!